Good morning, SDB families. So I wanted to give you one more bonus uh, video. I wanted to finish up our um, alphabet packet uh, just so that um, you didn't just stop in the middle. So I wanted to make sure that I um, finished up with you. So I have all of the letters T to Z here, and we're just going to finish our alphabet packet together. Um, and if you want to finish it, you can. And if you don't want to finish it, you don't have to. But I wanted to give you the option and let you know that I didn't want to just leave you behind. So um, we're just going to work our way through our letters. T is for turtle. And we can give our turtle um, a nice green shell. Um, some turtles have a brown shell. We can talk to our kiddos about that. This is a harder one for tracing. There's lots of lines to trace on our turtle and lots of different shapes to trace on our turtle. So we're just gonna do our, um, do our turtle there. I'm gonna give them, like many of our crafts, little pink cheeks, cause we like those. I'm gonna go in with that black and give him his toes like this. Excellent. All righty, there we have it. And then I'll get out my blue T for turtle and lowercase t for turtle. And we're back to having um, the squiggly lines. So get my scissors out. And remember, the easiest way to do this is to move your paper um, and just keep cutting, but squiggle the paper so that the kiddo can just keep opening and closing the scissors. And that's all they really have to worry about is opening and closing because you're turning it for them and that just makes it easier. All righty, here we go. Opening and closing. Squiggly lines for T for turtle. All righty. And there we have it. There's our T for turtle. Okay. Now today we're going to do our next one is U for umbrella. My umbrella is red, so I'm going to do my umbrella. Uh, but the handle of my umbrella is black, so I'll go up here and do the handle of my umbrella. I could fill it in if I wanted to. I don't have to color the whole thing, but I could if I wanted. I'm going to do my letters. All righty. And look at this big squiggle right here. Whoa. Now, if I cut all the way to the bottom, it's going to come off, but I'm supposed to stop right here so that it stays attached. Okay. And I'll do this one. These are big squiggles. Big squiggles. And one more set of squiggles. And that is you for umbrella. And these kind of look like rain falling down, right? So our you for umbrella squiggles. Volcano. V for volcano. Now these squiggles are really hard, so I'm gonna opt today to um, not cut them. I'm just gonna trace them uh, because that's okay too. I'm gonna do my lava on my volcano. And then I'll do my And then I'm gonna get out my blue and I'm just gonna trace my squiggles. Um, these squiggles are more than I want our kiddos to practice. If your kiddo wants to practice it, they can, 
um, but I think these are fine just for tracing. Um, they're very complex and I'm okay with just uh, tracing these today with whatever color they want going around the line. Just like that. That's Volcano. I'm going to do my watermelon. So my watermelon has a green rind, so I'm going to trace that line in green. If I want to, I can even fill that green section in. Okay. Watermelons have black seeds, so I can do that if I want to. And watermelons have sort of pink insides, so I'm going to go here with my watermelon. That looks like it has a bite out of it. I'm going to color my watermelon in, go around my... All right, color this seed. I'm gonna avoid the letters. I'll go back and do those in a minute. But this way I can make my watermelon look like a watermelon. There you go, watermelon. I'm gonna trace these and then I am gonna cut them, a little bit of both. I'm gonna do some tracing and some cutting. A little bit of activity for today. Try both kinds of scissor, uh, both kinds of scissor work, the straight ones and the curvy ones. Okay, so I'm going to cut and turn and cut and turn and cut and turn, and then I can just do this with the paper, cut and turn and cut and turn, and then swirly with the paper, cut and turn and cut and turn and swirly with the paper, cut and turn, cut and turn, cut and turn, and swirl. Oops, and that is, sorry, that is our letter W. Oh my goodness, I forgot to do the letter. Let's fill those in. W for watermelon, okay? This one is silly, X for box. I don't know why they couldn't do xylophone or something like that, but they didn't. I'm gonna do X for box, cause like X marks the spot, right? And then I'll get my brown one out and I'll trace my lines. Maybe like an Amazon box or a cardboard box. Maybe something that has something fun in it. All right. I'm gonna trace again because we're just having some fun doing some tracing and some cutting today since we're only doing our letters. I'm going to trace these shapes. And again, these are going to be straight, straight curve, and we're going to give those a try. All right, get my scissors out. Cut and turn, and cut and turn, and cut and turn, and then squiggle. Whoa. Cut and turn, and cut and turn, and Wiggle, cut and turn, and cut and turn, and squiggle, cut and turn, and cut and turn, and cut and turn, and squiggle. And there's our letter X for box. Alrighty. Today we're going to do... Now we're going to do yam, 
which is one of my favorite foods. I'm gonna circle those. Okay. Then we'll come in and we'll trace the letter, I mean, sorry, trace the shape of the yam. Yams are delicious, I love them. All right, so there's our yam. Get out my Y, my, my brown to do my Y for yam and my Y for yam. And then again, I'm going to practice my tracing just cause since all we're doing today is shapes, the tracing is an extra added thing we can do. Little extra practice using our marker control. And then we can get our scissors out. Now these are quick cuts, so they might be easy or hard for your kid. Cut and turn and cut and turn and cut and turn and cut and turn and cut and turn. Okay. Cut and turn. Cut and turn. I know you've heard me say it a million times. I have allergies. Just give me one second. Just get a cough drop. Sorry, friends. <clears throat> All right, cut and turn, and cut and turn, and cut, cut and turn, 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 cut. Cut and turn, 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 and cut. Cut and turn, 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 and cut. One more, cut and turn, 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 and cut. Okay. That's our letter Y. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Our letter Y for yam. And last but not least, we have our letter Z for zigzag, which are the cuts that we're making. The cuts we're making are zigzags. We're just going to trace this zigzag here. And we're going to grab our marker, letter Z for zigzag and zebra. We can trace these zigzags as well for that practice, our marker control practice. Back and forth with our marker control practice. Back and forth. And then lastly, we'll cut this out. And again, these are short ones. Cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut. Cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut. Cut, turn, 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 cut. Turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, and cut. And we're just working our way through this last set of zigzags, cutting and turning the paper as we need or turning the scissors as we need to finish cutting our zigzags. And here we have our letter Z for zigzags and our zigzags. And I'd like to leave you with one of our favorite videos um, so I'm going to go over here to, there we go. Doesn't want to cooperate with me. Come on. We're going to watch Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, a favorite of our class. Uh, here we go.
projects with Mrs. Horman. I had a wonderful year doing art projects with you and we'll see you next school year. Have a great summer everybody. Bye. <laughs>